Okay, we're going to demonstrate uh, in this next video, we're going to talk about uh, torque force and traction on the bone itself. Now they're interesting. Just in the last video we showed, we demonstrated that traction actually increases the pressure within. This procedure here is going to demonstrate that not all injury is soft tissue injury. As a matter of fact, most chronic injuries, I would say 40% of them have a bony or hard tissue involvement. Consider spontaneous osteonecrosis, consider stress fractures that won't heal, consider like a enthesopathy, a problem with the Achilles tendon that never responds. The problem could be too much edema in the cortex of the bone, too great a pressure in the bone itself. Interestingly, you can flex a bone, and when you flex these bones, if you flex these bones, the fluid, the volume decreases, and the fluid inside the cortex is going to move. Let's demonstrate a procedure here. I'm going to use both torque force and I'm going to use traction. Suppose she has a chronic, suppose she had a fracture in her tibia fibula a long time ago, years ago, never really resolved. The distal aspect of it. You can see she's bound down quite tight here. So I'm actually going to, that tibia's starting to flex now, you see? And I can give it traction as well. How do you feel that? Feel it in there? The guide to how much traction and which way to move the torque force depends on the patient's response. They'll tell me if the target area is being affected by the increase of pressure. Can you actually see that tibia bend in there? It is. And you'll find that as you do this, if it's successful, you'll be able to pull it further and further because as the edema drains out, there's greater flexibility in the bone. Once the procedure is completed, that edema is moved out, the pressure in the cortex or the, or the periosteum has decreased, blood flow returns, and they tend to respond quite quickly. You have to remember this is an assessment procedure like a test, but it can be a therapy at the same time if they respond. So, torque force this way, or we can do a torque force this way, or we can do a torque force towards you, and we can add some traction in as well. This will work for any long bone. 